How did you spend your quarantine? I spent my quarantine with my family. What were some of your struggles during this time? Well, and we had to completely relearn how to work. Honestly, not being able to go out and just like be in the city, you know? The struggle of wanting to leave and go away. I, I love traveling, so that has been a little hard. What were some of the struggles during the time? Um, I think maybe to be isolated and to don't see anyone, you know, missing people. Truly the connection with people. I miss them so much. I miss hugging them and I miss seeing them. The overriding thing for me was trying to always figure out what's next. And it's really inspiring because no one knows. And I think that unknown, I found that unknown to be very inspiring. What got you through it? For me, just shedding all the unnecessary things in life and keeping things simpler. You still need to be able to be creative and do the best for what you can with what you have. Like making your space very comfortable in the moment because we're all very much forced to be in our spaces right now. I think the main lesson for me, more than anything else, was that I could relearn how to do things that I've been doing the same way for so long. The, the fact that we can be flexible, that as humans we can learn new behaviors, it's kind of interesting. And even the way that the, the, the collection was designed, it was all about the future and all about how we wanted to feel again. And so bringing in the outside and bringing in the city to an indoor space was super interesting. Did you feel the need to connect with nature? Yeah, I wanted to be outside as much as humanly possible. I would work and work and keep looking at the clock and once my last meeting would end, I would just jump on my bike and just go. Yeah, honestly, I probably, I went to like 300 picnics. <laughs> like, it's all I was doing. Truthfully, I like really crave and need for my soul to be in nature, so just like immersed and submerged in nature for, you know, a few hours out of the day. How has New York City changed? But I think that the energy, the energy shifts constantly, but the energy shifts are much more, uh, much more obvious than used to be. We took for granted that the city always ran. Now you can feel the highs and lows of the city. It's interesting. I like it. I mean, it's it's. It takes a little getting used to, but I think we're coming back.